block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. better yeah. off work to the good, I'm bad, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. took a ride in the L, L, come on, man, yeah. Yeah. I'm took a roll down, where to kill me. You know what I mean? But life should be fake, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We know that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right? So, but... Yeah. This dude was really on that, and that's not saying he, he this he this was the real deal. He was really on that, mm-hmm. like super positive. Like, listen, the sun and the rainbow shines together. <laughs> and you, you're a star. You don't have to see that. Oh, and I they'll just walk off and shit. Oh, like and uh, smoke. Yeah, um, and shit. <laughs> and you be like, what the fuck just happened? This nigga just fuck. Like, blind, fuck. <laughs> For real, I heard yeah. my fucking niggas. Uh, <laughs> for real, shit. And nigga, cut action. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, say, I thought you said cut, nigga, action, it's my nigga. Man, <laughs> yeah. My man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is how you feel. you like, what the fuck? This is happening. All right. Do I go back to doing what I was supposed to do? I don't know. So, you know what I mean? you was it structure? Like, like I mean, I know in the middle. He of, showed me structure song. Right, structure song. Okay, because y'all have to make. Because like I know the, the so the first rodeo like I know you had to have some type of structure because what when you first signed your deal, what what was the goal when you got in there? What was he was just putting you on to up be the at, top? Right. The the goal was just to be at the top of hip hop at that time because it was always guys swing it. It was always guys. Who it's okay. from the city was like they was running. You had Siegel, you had, you know, most wanted, you had, you know, at that time the roots, you had um, you know, Ness King, you had um, you know, Rahisi, you had it was Gilly, you had it was so many motherfuckers with deals then. That's what I'm saying. Right. They, that we was concentrated on, specifically. So now when you came out, you wanted to make sure that you left an impression. Like, all right, I'm going to make my first time the most lasting time. And so when we made the record, it was more, for me, that's what it was about. I ain't right. going to fuck about Nothing else. It was right. like, yo, like, I'm gonna show y'all niggas this is what I get into. So you know the first saying? so what was your first appearance for the world to hear you? And that was it that the clip song with that new day? That was yes. the first. That was yes. the very, very first that was one. The very, very first. So let me ask you about this track. Okay, let's get into it. So let's see let's see how you feel about this. Now, everybody know when the person go last. That's the grand that's the grand finale. Absolutely. That's a grand finale. Absolutely. Was it your process of going last, or who 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 was it? Who yeah. idea was it? Pharrell is the orchestrator. Okay. Yeah, he the orchestrator. We let we let him dictate that play. I mean, dudes have their say so in the terms of how they want to present their music um, on Pharrell's music. Right. But ultimately. No, okay, yeah. cause, cause you did grand finale that track, for one, and Ab Ab did this thing. You know what I'm saying? You and Ab related? No, but that's the big bro. Though. Okay, I always wanted. To, nah, I just always wanted to ask that. I wanted to know if you and Ab was related. I thought y'all were related in some way. And then another thing I wanted to know: Did you ever feel like Pharrell in that video at that time was really setting you up for the kills? Because if you notice in that video from from the beginning to the end. It was more fixated on you. It was like oh, it was always a glimpse of letting you know you're coming. Have you ever felt that way? I always felt that way. Okay, cool. All I right. felt like that. <coughs> period. Like I, I felt like that. Like I'm real big on the power of self manifestation, bro. So I, I feel like when I see it and I see this shit, like and I lock that shit up in here, it's gonna happen. So it was so wild how like I even met Pharrell because it was like I was just looking at this nigga on television maybe a week before meeting him. Mm-hmm. And was thinking like, who is this nigga? Right. Nobody would have recognized this guy in this video. It wouldn't have been like this was a video you would have been like, oh, it's really about the 
The female. I don't know who. That's my phone. I don't want to be blowing up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know we live. Oh shit, you can get it. Shit, hell. What you want to get that motherfucker? I would. Hell, shit. shit, get that motherfucker. Shit, goddamn. Well, it's over. Hell, that motherfucker <laughs> said that hoe. I'm in here on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> shit, goddamn. I'm nah, shit, let's get it, shit. But so, yeah. after that, what was next? You know what I'm saying? Was you working on your solo now? Um, So, that was the goal. Uh, we worked on like some songs. We had like 10 songs. Um, We had got the deal. We went over to Arista. Got the deal over to Arista first. Um. I think what happened, L.A. Reid had Arista at that time. Clive Davis, I think he stepped down and went over to J Records or something like that. Yeah. And then Arista fell, and we went over to Interscope. Oh, okay. We got over to Interscope. Um, things, things was okay. Um, I wasn't really mad at the setup. Um, I think I was just young, man. I ain't give a fuck. Right. It was like I ain't really realized the people that I was in front of. Okay. Cause it, you it, know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. Right. Like, I ain't. So, were you was over there with Jimmy or y'all was over there with Tim on a time or whatever? with Jimmy. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But it was like, it was times I was in meetings with these niggas. We in, right. we in you know, we in the W. Right. Beverly Hills, we in the W. Like I'm in, I'm sitting here with these niggas. I'm just wilding. Like, like, well, like, well, like the, like, like the red, trick daddy, like, like the trick daddy trick. in the video <laughs> with the, with the. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, my yo, I was ignorant, nigga, cause I'm a thug. <laughs> I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I was, I was tripping. <laughs> we speaking about Trick Daddy. What you think about him, right quick? Hold on. We gonna get back to that. What you think about Trick Daddy saying what he just said by talking about I'm not African? That trick Craig. I mean, no. <laughs> I ain't got Trick ain't Craig. Trick. And nigga say nigga. He everybody. Say, anybody got their interpretation of what they think life is, man. Right. So if he, that's what he think. You know, I don't think that, but that's what he think. Right, he, he entitled to think that. Right, you know what I'm saying. All right, so back to back to yeah. So what's up? So y'all making this album? Y'all, you got ten. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And you choosing what you trying to choose? Like so, you were over there with Interscope. So it's weird. You thugging and all that stuff like that. So you really you you stand you standing out like a sore thumb right I'm now. I'm standing like a sore thumb. Yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really a detriment. Right, because I'm 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 giving it up, and I'm really a detriment not to them because they always gonna make money. Mm-hmm. I'm a Facts. detriment to myself. Right, right. They don't, they don't give a fuck. They already in with the who they need to be in with. They already making ass. Right. But I'm one of them niggas I never had right. to that extent. That, that motherfucker, motherfucker rang ring. about the pocket. <laughs> That bitch rang. That, I, oh, I thought that bitch rang it, rang it up out the pocket. Yeah, I said that bitch live on pocket. Oh, oh, that yeah, was yeah, shit. The <laughs> microphone and everything. Man, man, we got to be I'm but shit. But, but, podcast man, as shit. we speak. God damn All me. All right, if you want to see, we lights, cameras, action. Okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this thing done. All right. All right. Thank you. Shit. So, one of my loved ones. Hey, black and blue cell phone hookup. A ver. See how you work. Hello. I want $40 worth of smoke. What? Sponyo. Que mierda este pinche Of course I do. I've been getting it from you for weeks. You mean you ain't got. What? I can't hear shit. Who? Ah! Phones are all fucked up. What? You got any refund? Who is this? Who the hell you think I am? I don't know you. I've been getting it from you for the long and you better get me some smoke, man. I'm not calling you. Don't you talk to me if you ain't got no reefer, man. Oh, yeah? Well, fuck you. Well, fuck you, too. Eat shit, too. I got a dial phone. 
I gotta push automatic dials. 